Hello, this is Faith of Faith and Books. How are you doing? Um, I'm here uh, to pick up my uh, grandparents, uh, my grandparents, my grandchildren, because I've started watching them again for the school year. And life has been very, very busy. Um, we got a new puppy. You might have heard about the uh, 4,000 uh, beagle puppies or beagles that were rescued from the facility in Virginia. Well, we got one of the puppies. Um, and we love him. He, he's just adorable. So, but life has been just going at a lickety, lickety split pace. Um, and I tried to make a video this weekend and it was too long and my camera cut out on me. So I'm trying to make short ones. I managed to finish three books last week. So I'm going to talk about the first one that I finished and that was Travels with George by Nathaniel Philbrick. It's Travel with George, Travels with George, some subtitle, I don't have the book with me, um, by Nathaniel Philbrick. So it's kind of, it's got the premise of, um, or it's based on, the idea is based on uh, John Steinbeck's Travels with Charlie, which is a book I thought I had read, but I don't recall it at all. So now I want to read that or reread it. it. It's been ages. I went through a John Steinbeck phase, like, way back. But anyway, I, I want to read that now. But anyway, the, what this guy does is he and his wife, Melissa, and their dog, they had a Nova Scotia um, duck tolling retriever. And, um, and they, they decided to retrace um, George Washington's travels while he was president. So um, it starts with Mount Vernon, uh, him traveling up from Mount Vernon to New York to be inaugurated. Then he um, goes on a tour of New England, um, kind of to thank them for ratifying the Constitution. And he deliberately ignores Rhode Island, which had not ratified the Constitution yet. It was the last state to, to do so. Um, and while he's telling the story, his own retracing, it's two levels, right? He's telling his own story of retracing the steps in modern times. This came out in 2019. Um, and while he's also discovering all these things about George Washington. So when it first started out, I wasn't that impressed by it, but as it went along, I got more and more interested and uh, I really started to appreciate it and I learned a lot and I would give it two thumbs up. Um, and then after he finished his tour of New England, he did go, to, did I say this already? Um, he did go to Rhode Island after it had ratified uh, the Constitution. And then towards the end of his presidency, he went on a tour of the South. And that was really interesting too. He got down as far as Savannah, Georgia. And um, that was really interesting. I learned a lot from that uh, part too. And um, it really made me appreciate local historians and local librarians because they really are the keepers of, of our history, of our heritage and uh, they're good people and he was involved in the whole network of librarians and local historians so that made it really interesting that aspect of it I never really thought that much about the role that those people play often volunteers um, in just uh, maintaining our history and I really appreciated his approach to slavery he was you know he didn't sugarcoat anything he didn't make excuses he just related the facts and all the complexity of it um, and George Washington was a complex conflicted man uh, so I enjoyed it and I would recommend it uh, very highly and so next time I'm going to to uh, do a review of uh, False Colors by Georgette Hare I finished that last week too all right that's uh, all for me for now I hope you're doing well and happy reading